Hugh Douglas was born to rush the quarterback. From his days as a defensive star at Mansfield Senior High School to his maturation into a professional athlete, one thing has remained constant, an innate ability to strike fear into opposing QBs. In his sixth year as an NFL performer, Douglas has blossomed into one of the NFL's most revered players. It hasn't come without a price. After earning Rookie of the Year honors with the Jets in 1995, injury problems became a recurrent theme. The 1998 season brought renewed hope with the move to Philadelphia and a career-best 12-and-a-half sack campaign. But soon after came the nightmare known as 1999. Last year, Douglas's life was fraught with adversity. He battled two separate injuries, one which ended his season, suffered through a painful divorce, and endured the death of his father. Despite all of that, the six-year veteran has thrived in 2000. He leads all defensive ends in sacks and is about to secure his first ever trip to the Pro Bowl. My father, if he was here, he would have told me, you know, never give up, just, just keep your eye on the prize and, and maintain your focus and just keep, keep striving forward. Douglas turned the hardship-laden 99 season into a source of inspiration, committing himself to a stringent off-season workout program, which helped add 15 pounds to an already massive frame. He's reaped the benefits with an injury-free monster year. His 15 sacks and 52 tackles have earned Douglas defensive MVP honors from his teammates and rave reviews from the very top of the organization. He's a great pass rusher, great motor, uh, always trying hard. He's a little undersized, and he has to make up for that with his speed and uh, work ethic. And um, uh, he's great before games because he's the noisiest guy in the locker room, and he's really uh, everyone sort of, he's a, a point of levity. He, he's a major player on our football team. The self-effacing superstar hasn't forgotten his Mansfield roots, establishing the Hugh Douglas Foundation for Children. He also realizes an NFL career may not have been possible without the help of high school football coach Stan Jefferson. He really motivated me to go to college. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to go to a big school, but Central State was a, was a good fit for me. Uh, and I had fun there and it allowed me to, to have the opportunity to play in the pros. With three years left on a six-year contract, Douglas is entrenched on Philly's defensive line for a while. Good news for the Eagles, bad news for their opponents. At 260 pounds, Douglas may be a bit undersized, but he possesses something more important than stature in getting to the quarterback. Desire, I think that's the biggest thing, and I think I was born a right defensive end, and uh, you know that's about it. What Douglas desires most is a championship ring. Just ask opposing quarterbacks. Hugh Douglas usually gets what he wants. For Second Sports, I'm Brad Forster.